there at the end of the runway is Concord 001 and Angelus has joined Raymond Baxter. Just seconds to go. Et maintenant, enfin, le premier vol. 110 tons of aircraft all up, wait there. The magic moment with us. The crescendo of time from the 593 Olympus is. The Concord was special. The quality of the work, the minds, the skill, the talent, the commitment that went into it, that's what really matters. Over the last 27 years, Concorde has captured the imagination of people from all over the world. An extraordinary feat of engineering, a unique blend of power, grace, and beauty. First time I've ever been in the air. Never driven going in because I'm retired. I am thrilled. Every single cell in my body is thrilled. Words fail me. It's so incredible. Wonderful experience. What are you going to tell your school friends when you get back to school on Monday? Well, uh, trying to find some way of getting them to believe me. There's the Sydney Opera House, and there's Concord, arguably the three most beautiful man-made sites in the world. We have carried the Queen, uh, the Queen Mother, world leaders, stars. It has been an amazing magnet. Phil Collins had dashed from the Wembley stage to Philadelphia by helicopter and Concord. It's good fun. I mean, only a fool such as I would do this. For 27 years, British Airways Concord has been a national symbol a natural centerpiece for celebration. A few hundred feet over the heads of a million people, maybe more, Concord and the Red Arrows fill the sky. We flew down the Mall, and you could see Her Majesty standing on the balcony. I've never seen a million people before, let alone them all looking up and waving and cheering for Concord. She's brought cities together, brought people closer and reminded us all that we can do extraordinary things. You kind of think, oh, I wonder who might be on Concord, maybe a famous film star who's just signed a contract in New York or something. Catherine Sister Jones is an absolute star, so glamorous, so Hollywood. Paul McCartney's probably everyone's favorite. He will say hello and he remembers us. Oh, Richard Gere. I've loved him since I was about five. You can always recognise it. It looks like a swan. You know, when swans fly, it looks like a swan with the shape of its neck. It's the most brilliant example of far-sighted designers thought ahead and kept a lead for half a century. No matter how many times you fly, there still is that amazing, exciting sensation when you take off. Every day is a thrill. By the time the passengers come on board, the air is absolutely charged with excitement. Speedbird Concord 1, you're clear for takeoff. 27 left, surface wing, 240 at 10. Speedbird Concord 1, Roger, clear for takeoff. 27 left. It's a thrill. It's the nearest thing I'll ever feel to a rocket. How starts the bite. Push back into your seat. SB's building. You're concentrating like man. 60 knots. The noise takes over. 100 knots. That's it. The heart starts to pound a bit. V1. Rotate. V2. Positive climb. For 
27 years, she has been our flagship, and her inspiration will stay with us as we take our standards of service still higher and higher. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Welcome back, you bunch of goddamn <laughs> busters. Welcome back, guys. Welcome to St. Martin. We're in the home of Texanas, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're in St. Martin here in Concord. We are at Gate Bravo 1, guys. And we're about to hop off the good foot and do the bad thing. My main man, Anthony Cole's in here. Danny Boy's in here, the little fucking buster. Good to see you, Danny. I hope you had a good new year and a good Christmas, young man. Uh, Kenardo's in this stream as well on YouTube. Yay, a Concord stream. Have I recovered from the holiday logistics rush? I have indeed, buddy. I, I got all finished up with the driving and then I took a couple of weeks off streaming just to uh, kick back and recharge. Where's Lozzie's joined us? Welcome on board, young lady. Good to see you. Thanks for the little chat earlier on. I hope things are good for you and you have a good evening drying your hair. Uh, what's up, Shipple on Twitch? My man Fernando's is back again on Twitch. Good to see you as well, my friend. Welcome. Welcome, guys. Right, so we're getting set up in St. Martin. We are heading up towards New York. The city so good they named it twice. Fuck, don't say it. Don't say New York twice, guys. Frank will fucking show up. And we're sick of Frank fucking just randomly showing up. Uh, so uh, there is ATC. Ah, uh, he's actually just went offline. <laughs> <laughs> There was ATC here, but he's just went offline. So we're unfortunately we're going to be departing on him. Shut up, Frank! No! Get out of here, you fucking bastard! I told you no the first time. And um, yeah, so we're heading we're heading up to New York, and uh, we don't have any ATC here at St Martin right now. We did have some earlier on, but uh, hopefully we'll catch some ATC as we head up further north. Um. I've not flown Concord for quite a while, so I'm a little bit rusty. I am a little bit rusty, guys, as to what I'm supposed to be doing. So just bear with me. This is pro probably going to be a few errors in this. I do have my checklist somewhere, though. Hold on. Because I'm a fucking cheap professional. Boop. You're goddamn right. I got my new Concord swag on as well. Is my camera going to fall out the sky there? No! That ah, should be fine. Should be fine. What's up, Wiley? Wiley's in here, this fucking buster, and I love this guy. Return of the Mac. Happy New Year, big dog. Happy New Year to you, young man. You're, you're also drying your hair, Roger. <laughs> I've just, uh, just had a quick break, buddy. Shaved my legs. Just been shaving my legs in the back. And uh, yeah, we're ready to go. I hope you're well, young man. Hope you're well. Remember to pay me for that, says Lauren. Roger that. What's up, Royal Pirate? Welcome on board. My man Mac Vision's in here, guys. Thank God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Holy shit, my man Mac Vision coming in heavy! Coming in heavy, he's fucking throwing donations at me already, guys. What the fuck? I've been streaming for like four minutes. This guy's coming at me with a 21 euro donation. God damn it, guys. I can't, I can't have any sort of peace and quiet here, can I? God damn it. My, ma my main man, Mac Vision from Ireland, get that fucking parrot on! Get him out of here, he's a fucking buster! Right, let's get this fucking set up. Thanks for the money, Mac, I will spend it on drugs. Okay, he's a hell of a drug. You are goddamn fucking right. Right, let's get this set up, goddamn it. I'm trying to get in the goddamn skies! Trying to get in the goddamn skies. What's up, Fearless? Welcome back, Fearless. Welcome back, brother. Thanks for that poll. So here we are, guys. We're back at St. Martin. We've already done that bit, Maverick. Let's get the aircraft up and running. So... 
check that the ground power unit and the air cart is connected, which we have. The doors are open and we have the stairs. Get that door open. Get these fucking busters in here. What do you think this is, a game? Shakes fist. Back in the fucking aircraft. What's up, Ryan Foster Flight Channel? What's up, big dog? Good to see you, my man. What's my man Wiley doing? I want to know what fucking Wiley's up to these days. I've seen you playing something called Valorant or something like that. I've got no idea what that is, but I'm pretty sure there's no fucking planes in it, bro. Mind you, I'm playing Lord of the Rings a lot. So I can't give you any shit. Alright, batteries are on. Equipment be cool and switches are on. I can, all, it always impresses me that I can remember how to do all this. And I'll do for now. Uh, oxygen switch. <laughs> Not that hell. Uh, right, batteries, panel lights, equipment be cool and switches. INS. INS one, two, and three. We'll bring up that payware snatch. Turn on that payware snatch. Well, up the front seat, and we'll get our position from the aircraft. So our position from the book. So we make sure we're in pause. Waypoint zero is selected. DSRTK selected. We are uh, in zero for not being in navigation mode. Oh, another donation. What the fuck? My oh man, squashy poos. Two streams in one day. What is this madness? Stay this madness. Thanks so, thanks so much for the support, Squashy Poos. Thank you very much, young man. I hope you get your new tower up and running very soon and we get you back on stream. I'm just trying to uh, trying to catch up a little bit on the, the streams because I've been I've been taking a bit of a time off. A bit, a bit of a time off. I've been taking a bit of time off the stream scene. What the fuck's going on here? So, yeah, it's good to be back, dude. Thank you for your support, my man. Thank you very much. What's up, Critical? Welcome, big dog. 18025 West 6306. That is not an 8, bro. West 63068. 18025, 18025, 63068, 63068. Alright, let's get this round to DSRTK. Unengage keyboard mode and select a line on one. So that's going to be a line on one, a line on two, and a line on three. Awesome. MacVision says, time to sit back and eat the Christmas leftovers. Well, oh, those Christmas leftovers should be in the bin by now, goddammit. Wiley says, waiting for these clouds, where are they at? Yeah. Fucking hype, hype, hype. <laughs> hype, hype, hype. Yeah, Fearless, this is the, the newest update of Concord, so all these lights are all panelled in. Agent Squash on YouTube says, Mav, if I told you I'm about to replace the gold pilot, the god pilot emote, would you be disappointed? I wouldn't be disappointed, bro. I would be fucking furious. But I wouldn't be disappointed. What are you going to replace it with, young man? What's up, Shipple? Fucking buster. Uh, Ryan Foster says, I'm doing some F-18 and UH-1 Cobra Ops at the moment and good old Battlefield 3. Top speed to you, sir. What's up, Critical? Welcome back. I'm living the dream every day, bro. Every day I live the dream. Bruno says CG53 rip for no reason whatsoever. Welcome, Bruno. I wish I could say I was happy to see you, sir. Right, let's get some more stuff done because I'm pretty sure I need to be doing stuff here. Uh, equipment, sorry. Air data computers, I need those on. God damn it, you can tell it's been a while since I've done this. Do we still have ATC? 1187. Information. Charlie is current at the moment. The QNH is 1016. So we'll contact the tower and uh, have a little chin wag with that guy. 1187. 1187. Radio on. On to his channel. My flight plan is filed. Checked. And what am I calling this guy? I am calling this guy. Control info. I'm just going to say I'll call him Princess Juliana. There's my right microphone is on. All right, I have information. What did I say, Charlie? Charlie with one zero one six. Let's set that before I forget. There's a record. Do not close. So I'm on the radio. Quarter two point. 
Just as I'm about to press the button to talk to him, he says I'm about I'm just closing. Fuck him. Alright, never mind. Alright, no ATC today, guys. Never mind. Yeah, 250 up top. 10,000 is set. We'll get these lights on as well. Throttle masters to main, seatbelt signs, no smoking signs, navigation lights. New style god pilot probably says, uh, next one Squash, I'll look out for that bro, I'll look out for that. Nice one, thanks Fear, thank you very much dude. You're goddamn right Critical, you're goddamn fucking right son. I've even got a, I've even got a sign on my desk that says it bro, just to confirm, just for any haters out there that might be thinking, hey is this guy a professional? No, this guy is a fucking professional. What's up, Woozle? Fucking Buster Woozle's on Twitch. Happy New Year, mate. Hope, you had, hope you're well. YouTube is currently RIP for me. So tuning in on Twitch. Welcome on board, Woozle. Good to see you, sir. Welcome on board. Um, Fearless asks on Twitch, uh, sorry, on YouTube, does this update have problems with the flight model still? No, dude, those have been fixed. Those have been rectified. It's been a while. I don't see you. How are you, says Sirietta. I live the dream every day, my friend. Thank you. I've been busy getting fat over Christmas. I've just been eating as much pizza as I can. Bruno says, how hard is it to use SIVA INS for transatlantic with, with ATC? It's not hard at all, sir. It just takes a little bit of practice. I actually have a tutorial on my uh, uh, YouTube channel. I have a Concord tutorial where I cover crossing the Atlantic using SIVA. So if you want to check that out, you can uh, go to my YouTube channel and look at the videos and look for the Concord London to New York tutorial. Right, we're waiting on INS guys, we're waiting on the INS aligning which is why I am messing around here. While we're waiting on that we'll go ahead and get a better pushback. Pre-plan that push. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you're ready. Roger that. Alright, I'm quickly going to bring up my checklist here. Just because I've, I've not flown Concorde for ages so I'm paranoid I've done, I've, that I've done something wrong that I forgot to do something so preliminary cockpit checks were all done before I started the stream. Master CVs are set and checked. Well, we'd, well, yeah, set. Master CVs are checked. They're not set. Cockpit inspection security is complete. Oxygen is uh, checked 100%. DV windows are closed. Flight control inverters. We'll do all this, actually. I'm not going to do it in sequence. I'll just do it. I'll do, I will do it all, but I'm not going to do it in sequence. But I just want to quickly scan down. There's throttle masters. I did select a main. Ground hydraulic checkout. We'll do that in a minute. INS is up. Secondary air doors. Should be set to auto ASI pitch bugs. Set. Fuel flow P7 bugs are set. Clock and TLA bugs are all set. Seatbelt signs on the briefing. Right, guys, it's going to be a departure from runway 09er. Let me just get a quick Met check up in this bitch. We're looking at the winds are variable 050 to 130 at 8 knots. So we're going to be going from runway 10. Um, it's basically, I I'll, was I'll, going to show you, oh, fuck it, I'll show you the chart for the sake of showing you the chart, TNCM, <whistles> TNCM, <whistles> so basically we take off and just turn right straight away, departure Juliana 2, is it the Juliana 2 or the, yeah it is there, so basically just take off, hard right hand turn inbound for um, the Princess Juliana 1130, which we have set. Uh, once we get out 10 miles, then we'll start coming out up towards Trinke. Uh, uh, sorry, heading up to Manolo, I think. No, Manolo was our inbound. Our first waypoint is Trinke. Trunky, I think it is supposed to be pronounced, Maverick. So while we're waiting on the INS aligning, which we're actually pretty much ready now, I'm going to go and stick some INS information into DAS aircraft, and then we'll be ready. Push. Pre planned that push. Let's get these out of the way somewhere safe. Hey, MX, welcome back. Fucking buster, good to see you, dude. Still need to do your world tour, says Fearless. Yeah, you're right, bro. I was actually thinking about that earlier on today. I felt really bad. Uh, what do I press it? Um, I felt really bad because I still, I keep saying that I'm going to do it and I never ever do it. Time just seems to go by so fast, guys, 252. I never seem to have any time. There's not enough fucking time, bro. I never see me have enough time. 20452 West 63379. Waypoint 3 is Dupin. 25308. Gonna be getting back into DCS pretty soon. 4349. 
not PvP stuff, doing mainly the long range missions, like the six hour missions. So I'll be posting some details about that soon. 36345 West 68172. Kenda 39212 West 70300. Is that right? 70300, yep. Kenda Lind 39246 West 71426. 39246 71426. Uh, Whiskey 8 is going to be Owen 1073517 checked. Check, 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 check it out. What what what's it all about? We have a code of three, we're ready to go for nav. Talk to me about nav. Alright, nav on one. One, two, three. No errors. Oh, we just get a door shut now, we're ready to push. Woozle's back, good to see you, Woozle. Woozle made it. Woozle made it on a YouTube. Hey Henrik, good to see you bro. Fucking bastard. Right, so let's make sure that the yellow hydraulic system is on. Ground hydraulic checkout, yellow, yellow and off for now. We'll turn these up. Uh, why is that? It's because this isn't on. On, on. Engine, fuel pumps, one, two, three and four. We need to open up the air bleed control valves and the cross bleed valves and turn on the Debo switches. Boop, beep, bop, boop. Aircraft. Doors and ground. Okay, ground, you can take away the stairs, thanks. Okay, we're ready to start our engines now, guys, so we'll go ahead and put the anti collision light on to let the people on the ground know that, hey, get the fuck out of the way, we're about to start some engines, guys. Get out of the way, god damn it, you buster. Right, 49.9 checks for the fuel uh, the fuel amount. CG is good. So we'll go ahead and we will start engine number three first today. Fuck it. Yeah, give me number three. Oh, all right, three is spilling. We're looking for 12%. We have it. Boom. Hey, Grandad's here! Welcome, Grandad. Good to see you, sir. Welcome back. Happy 2021. Welcome. MX is asking on YouTube, what um, St. Martin have I got? I don't know, actually, bro. I think there's only one. So that one. Right, engine number three should be sitting at her Debo position. She is. We'll go ahead and release the Debo switch and she'll come up to her ground idle of 67%. Just watching N2 here. Okay. Engine number three is up, air bleed control valve off, cross bleed valve on, off sorry, air conditioning pack on. We'll take on the electrics for engine number three and the hydraulics are on for free. Electrical generator is on and we'll take the starter for engine number two please. We're looking for 12%. We have it, fuel's coming in. What's up, Soma? Welcome. Yes, Woozle, I'm on 1.5, bro. Hey, baby dragon, welcome back. I won't fly in a Harrier today, bro, no. It's just going to be Concord and then that's it for today. I've already said hello to you, Soma. Don't be one of those guys. Hey, RTC, Concord out of St. Martin. This will be a ride. You're goddamn right. 
Aviation on YouTube says, this plane is so confusing I could never do it. Yes, you could, bro. Yes, you could. All right. Engine number two is sitting at its Debo position. Go ahead and release the Debo switch. That is not what I meant to do there. I want that one. And she'll come up to her ground idle of 67. It is quite, it's a very complex aircraft. It's probably the most complex aircraft, air, commercial aircraft ever made. But, um, yeah, once you've done it a hundred times, it's it all makes sense. I haven't flown the aircraft for about a month. And I've, I mean, I've got the checklist behind me. I was going to say, I'm not even reading a checklist. That wouldn't be true. I have looked at the checklist just very briefly, but um, most of it's all just coming back to me verbatim. Right, so we're sitting at the ground idle. Air, air bleed valve off for engine two, cross bleed valve off for two, air con valve on for engine number two. A electrical generator on for two and we'll take the hydraulics running from two with the safety pin in. We have engine two and engine three up and running now so we no longer require any power from the ground. So we're going to go ahead and trip the ground power. That'll automatically trip the ground hydraulics as well. Ground hydraulic checkout, yellow, yellow and off. We'll go ahead and ask the ground crew to take away the ground power unit and the air conditioning cart. And we are now ready to push. We'll go ahead and we've got enough hydraulics to lower the visor. We'll take that down now and we'll get the guy in. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Roger. Alright, the toe is on the way. While we're waiting on the toe, we'll go ahead and start engine number one. And again, we are looking for 12% out of N2, which we now have. Go ahead and put a fuel in. There's our tug. Just drove into a building, bro! Can't get the staff. Can't get the staff. Tells you in the fucking stream title, Soma. Hey, Runaway, welcome back. What's up, Glenn? Welcome. Steven's here as well. After flying Concord, everything else is dull. That is goddamn right. What's up, Caden? Welcome along. Do you have the option of a flight okay, engineer? Asks Paul. Not yet, bro. Hopefully that'll, that'll maybe be a feature that'll come further on down the line, but not right now, sir. Alright, engine one's holding at her Debo position. We'll go ahead and release the Debo switch. And she'll come up to her ground idle. Hey, what's up, Zombler? I am an E-175 captain. Can't imagine how annoying it would be to have to do the last minute star change on an INS computer. I think they would probably just request vectors. Um, they would need to have it all. They would obviously need to have, I mean, they would, they would have the charts and stuff like that. But yeah, it would be, I'm sure it would. Well, I suppose, sir, if you've got three different people, only one guy's flying the aircraft, the other guy's on the radio, then it's another. So connected and bypassed and inserted. Release parking brake. Can we go ahead and release the parking brake? So I think if, yeah, maybe if just on, flying on your own, Target sir, I think that would be quite target. Uh, you could be very task saturated, but with three guys in the cockpit, I'm pretty sure it's uh, more than manageable. All right, we are pushing back now. We'll go ahead and start engine number four. In fact, while we're doing that, I'm going to um, close the air bleed valve for one. Close the cross bleed valve, open the air con pack and turn on the electrics for engine number one and put the hydraulics on from one with the safety pin in. We have 12%. Fuel's coming in with a high pressure switch. <laughs> Aviation Mad says, are you from Scotland? No, dude, I'm actually a 47 year old Korean woman. I'm just very good at doing voices. Alright, we have 27% from N2, we're looking for 30%, which we now have. We'll go ahead and release the Debo switch. Hey, King Camo, good morning from the US West Coast. Good morning, sir, welcome. Welcome along. What's up, Cheryl? Welcome along, young lady. Will I ever fly the Russian Concorde? Fuck no. Get out of here, baby dragon, you fucking buster. Fly the Russian Concorde. Bitch, please. Oh, hell no. Fuck no, bro. I value my life. Alright, all four engines are up and running. 
So engine fours up, air, uh, sorry, air bleed control valve off, cross bleed valve off, air conditioning pack on, electrical generator for four on, hydraulics on, safety pins locked. All four engines are up and running, the hydraulics are all on and set. Excuse me, the hydraulic pins are all in and set. All, all four electrical generators are up. The ground power is off, SSB switch is set to close, the emergency generator is set to ground power bypass, safety pin is set and locked. Batteries are both on and set, the water heater can come on, shed galley generators Operation 1 and 3 complete. Set break. and 2 and 4 can come on, we'll check that the oxygen switch is on, and it is indeed, we'll go ahead and set a parking brake for this young man. Parking brake is set. Stand by. Roger. Alright, everything's good on this panel, so we'll come up top here, check that the air bleed control valves are all off, the cross bleed valves are all off, the air conditioning valves are all on, the equipment bay cooling switches are on, the outlet valves are set to auto for tanks 9 and 10, the D air pump is on for tank 9 and 10, we don't need 5A and 7A, 5, 7, 8 and 6 are all on with the correct fuel, um, load amount set. We can go ahead and turn the remaining fuel pumps on for engine 1, engine 2, engine 3 and engine 4. We'll turn on the inlet valves to auto for tank 11 and turn the D air on for tank 11. We'll come up top now and check to the next panel that the cabin pressurisation is set and everything looks good. The engine control schedule can be set to flyover. The fuel heater set to oh, auto. Oh, bypass bin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. Well, see you next time and have a safe flight. Thank you, sir. The secondary air doors are set to auto. The engine recirc valves are shut. The engine number four N1 limiter is set to 88%. The doors are closed with no flags. INS 123 is up with no warnings. The air data computers are on. We'll come up top now and make sure that the auto throttles are on and armed. The auto ignition switches are in the on position. We'll cycle the throttle masters from main to alternate and then back to main again. Check that this guy has the pin. Where is he? Is he on the side? He is on the side. And he does have the pin. Horn's good. All right. Uh, pressure static heaters. ADS engine probe heaters are on. Engine anti-ice is not required. The master CBs are set into position. Flight control inverters are... Get on there. Buster. Flight control inverters are on, augmentators are selected to blue, blue and blue, the anti-stall system is on, master warning checked, it's all illuminated. Let it go and it's all cleared, master warning can be inhibited, we can put the nose to five. Alright, we're ready to taxi guys, we are ready to taxi. Ugh. Right, so first thing we'll do is make sure that the brakes work. So we'll turn a little bit of power, turn the brakes off, and make sure the brakes work. Oh, traffic, traffic. Hey, fuck you, bro! Would you think this is a fucking game? Get your ass back there, bro! I'm a fucking cog cord. What do you think this is? Got some fucking buster trying to YOLO it in front of me? Alright, we're off. Right, we're going to go ahead and set 28,000 up here because we're going to go straight up for our subsonic cruise. But we'll probably just go straight for 60 once we're clear of the island. Uh, transponder, I need to make sure that, that is on. Forgotten where to look for that. Oh dear. Oh dear, Maverick. Where is it? it should be right here. There it is. 2200. Hey, Emma's back. Good to see you, young lady. Welcome. Happy New Year, my darling. I hope you had a good one. I did, my friend. I had a nice, quiet New Year without any drama. I hope you guys had a good New Year down there as well. XB is playing DCS and he's got the same stick as me. Welcome to the 3D Pro Army, my friend. Good to see you, sir. Thanks, Arsenal. Hey, what's up, Brent? First time watching an X-Plane stream from you. Usually I'm hooked to your DCS content. Nice to see a Concord for a huge change. Welcome. Ooh. Turn, Maverick, turn. I got it, I got it, guys. Don't worry, I got it, I got it. Boom. This is where all the TNA is, guys. God damn it. It's a hard place to leave, I tell you that. It's a hard place to leave, guys. God damn it.
All right. Oh, hopefully no one's coming out to land. I legitimately didn't check that. No, no one's coming out to land, but okay. Nope, I just threw my second mouse in the bin. That's not good. Oh, I think this virgin behind me is trying to... Yeah, he is. This, is, this guy's a stalker. He's probably watching the stream. Doesn't have a flight plan filed. Just wants to be as close to Maverick as possible. I'm not that handsome, bro. Come on. I'm not that handsome and I don't smell great. Come on, bro. All right. Uh, Takeoff monitor is set. And afterburners are armed. They're not in contingency. Right, it's going to be takeoff uh, straight ahead. Once we get positive claim, we're going to turn right. Uh, we'll just come right to... We'll just go 180. About 200 since we're closest. Right, guys, I think we're ready to go. I think we are ready to go. Oh, it's my man going to Miami. Sorry, it's not a stalker. I can normally tell if it's someone on a... You need to file a flight plan, you fucking buster. Oh, he's back there. Which one are you? Yeah, you're the guy with no flight plan. Come on, keeper. Sort it out, bro. All right, we're ready to go. Uh, I got a really bad feeling I've forgotten something. Three, two, one, now. All right, power's building. Check. All right. Hopefully we're going to get in the air here. V1. Oh Christ! This is going to be a lot closer than I remember. Rotate. Oh no, we're okay. We're all right. We'll get this. All right. Gear up. Coming right. Gear coming up. Gear up. Two forty knots. Gears up. Pitching up. 250 knots. Check. Pitch up above 20 degrees. Fantastic rate of climbing at the moment. Three, two, one, noise. Power's coming off. 3,000 feet. Check. Oh, I dialed down the rate of climb and the rate of descent. Eh, the rate of turn. Okay, we're airborne. Speed's good. Gears up. Takeoff monitor can be turned off. Reheats are off. Nose and visor. We'll just start bringing it up straight away. Rolling out two zero zero. All right, it's no ATC on, so we're just going to go ahead, straight ahead and take high speed. We're through five thousand feet already, so we'll go ahead and take uh, the power up a little bit. We'll ask the, the flight engineer to trim the fuel for flight. We'll hop in the, um, just look after the trim first a little bit. Right, we're through 6,000 feet, we'll go full drive power now. And what I'm going to do is come up with the INS, waypoint change, 01 insert, and we'll take INS nav. Bit of a volume warning coming up, guys. Hey, Squidgy, it should be about an hour and a half. It takes about an hour and a half to get to St. Martin from, um, to get to New York from St. Martin and Concord. Right, we're coming up for 10,000 feet very, very quickly. It's going to be on our checklist then for us. 350. 10,000 10, checked. All right, pitch right up now. All right, through 10,000 feet, we're going to hop in the back, turn the engine control schedule from flyover to normal, check that the brake fans are off. The fuel is moving aft. 5A and 7A are already off. The brake fans are off and checked. The engine number four limiter can be reset. Rad INS switch to INS. We're going to go ahead and have a look where we are first, actually. 
right, take an INS update here. Waypoint change zero one insert. Waypoint change zero one insert. I can tell the rate climbed down a little bit now. We're through the transition altitude as well, so we'll go ahead and reset the altimeter. 1012. 1013, sorry. Cross check that because I'm a trained professional. Set. And again, we'll set, reset this INS so that we're. 20,000 feet. Sorry, if people, I know people are asking me questions about training and stuff like that. Sorry, guys. i got to focus on what I'm doing at the moment and then I will get. I'll make time to answer your questions in a minute. Waypoint change zero one insert, and we'll go IAS hold at three eighty eight. We can dial this round as well. Oh. Oh. And northbound. Hey, what's up, aviation? Fucking northbound. So long, T and A. I will not fly the A three eighty, bro. No. Okay, it looks like we're going to have a, a very short stint at twenty eight thousand feet. If I've been a bit smarter about this, I could have just done a, a gentle climb up, and then we could have just kept on climbing. But never mind. It's not going to. It's not going to hurt anybody. So we're just going to be stopping at 28,000 feet for a minute or two once we get clear, whilst we get clear of the land. And then we'll go ahead and turn those taps right up. And we'll go supersonic. Mach 0 0.95 at the moment. 96. Hey Alfie, welcome. Hope you had a good new year. Kimo Sabi's back. Good to see you, big dog. Hey, Casper. Hello from Sweden. Casper hey, Hansen says, hello from Scotland, my friend. Welcome to the stream. What's up? Dobbo's back. Another member of the YouTube Captain's Club. Good to see you, Dobbo. Welcome back, sir. Looking good. Bit late, on the bit late to the party. Anything new on Concord? Eh, there hasn't been an update since the last time we flew it about a month ago, so not really, sir, to be honest. Alright, we're pretty much clear of the land. We'll just give it a, an extra 30 seconds. And then we'll go for it. So she's just settling down there at 28,000 feet. Altitude hold is selected. I can go ahead and select 60,000 feet now. And then we're going to climb like a fucking rocket. An absolute rocket. Howdy from Florida, says Draco. Hello, my friend. King Camo says, does the X-Plane model supersonic sounds? Yes, but not very well. Hello, Pasqua. Hello, sir. I don't think there's a plane that could top the Concorde, says Aviation 16. You are goddamn right, sir. Right, so we're far enough, far enough away from land that we can go ahead and take the full power now for 60,000 feet. So first thing we'll do is turn off the auto throttle. Auto throttle off. And then we're going to go and select um, altitude acquire. Select full power. Aircraft's pitching up. Select maximum climb. Aircraft's really going to pitch up now. Inboards and outboards both firing. We're now through the speed of sound. No bumps, no bangs. Concord. Took a Concorde to the face! Hello from South Africa, says Mr. Opperman. Hello, my friend! I don't have a very good South African accent, so I'm maybe not subjected to that, but hello sir, welcome to the stream. Hey Noel, you're goddamn right. 
My man, no Evnol, no. He knows, he knows exactly what's up. What's up, Magic Beans? I love this guy. Why was Concord retired, for fuck's sake? I'm not getting into that, bro. God damn it. But welcome to the stream. Phoenix J Aviation on YouTube says, I can't fly this thing to save my life. The autopilot just doesn't work out for me at all. Uh, doesn't sound like you're a trained professional, Phoenix J. Sounds like you may be doing something wrong there, sir. I've got a... Flying this thing like... Fly this thing like it's a... Maverick flies it like it's a Cessna 152. That's only because I've been flying it for 13 years, sir. Ramps moving confirmed. Thank you very much. Let's confirm that those ramps are moving, ladies and gentlemen. They are. The ramps are incrementally coming in. So what we can do now, because we are supersonic, we can turn off the pressure static heaters. The ADS engine probe heaters can come off as well. Seatbelt signs can come off. And we also want to turn the secondary air doors to open. They should be open now. Everything looks good. Fuel looks good. 42 tons of fuel. Fuel still moving aft. We're looking for 10.5 tons of fuel in tank 11. I've never actually flown in the Concorde slick. No, I've, I've been in this Concorde in real life. This is Alpha Alpha. I've been in this Concorde in real life. I've also been in Alpha Charlie, which is a Concorde down in Manchester. But sadly, I've never been in one when they were flying. Alright, we'll turn the reheats, aka the afterburners, aka big massive fire coming out the back. We turn that off at Mach 1.7, which is coming up pretty quick. And then we'll continue to climb to 60,000 feet on dry power. Auto throttle is back and armed. 166, 167, 168. 169 giggity, Mac 1.7. Inboards off, outboards off. We are back on dry power, ladies and gentlemen. We won't use the afterburners again for the rest of the flight. The worst sonic boom effect in the whole world. So we'll continue to climb. Is the flight thing on for you guys? The flight progress bar should be on. You guys should be able to see where we are and what we're doing. Okay, so welcome on board, guys. Now we're just going to start Tom cruising. <laughs> oh, it gets me every time, bro. We're going to just start Tom cruising, guys. So we'll be Tom cruising for, um, I think, about an hour. And then we'll be starting our descent into... New York. It doesn't take us long to get there at all. Hey, money's here. Good to see you, money. What does it look like? Why does it look... Why does it look like... Ah, oh, there's words in there somewhere, bro. I don't think they're the right order. Why does it look the afterburner plumes... Are, why does it look like the afterburners are pitching up in it? It's because they are, bro. It's because they are. It's not. God damn it, money. I'm not a fucking software developer, bro. I just fly the goddamn plane. Fucking buster. This guy. This fucking guy, money. It's the best type of money, though. 104th money. <laughs> good to see you, money. I hope you had a good day, uh, a new year, and a good Christmas. I hope you weren't storming fucking the Capitol building yesterday either. How many nautical miles on your flight? It's 1,525 nautical miles in total, right? Uh, Speedbird asks, good to see you Speedbird by the way, you going to fly into JFK, we are, we're going to JFK right now bro, we are going to JFK right now my friend. My man Slick Burrito is currently descending into Frankfurt, roger that bro. Hello John, John Sogard, hopefully I said your name right, greetings from Denmark, greetings from Scotland buddy, welcome. Passing Mac 2. Passing Mac 2. Alright, let's go ahead, up top, we're now uh, above 50,000 feet, Mac 2, engine flight rating to cruise. Well, this should be, engine rating should be, I, should, I forgot, forgot to do that at 10,000 feet, this should be set to flight. Somebody is sending me a message. Hey, company! My main man Merrick's in the skies. As a non, 
Ryan Air Buster, you have my respect. I love this guy. My main man, Merrick. Alright, Master Warnings recalled. There's nothing there. Money said, um, very good Christmas and New Year. Hope you had the same, boss. I did indeed. I actually played golf on Christmas Day. Had a round of golf on Christmas morning. Me and my father went out and played golf on a very prestigious golf club. Just me and him. It was actually, it was fucking brilliant. The weather was, there was no wind. You could, you could hear a squirrel fart from a mile away. It was a, wonder, a wonderful way to start the day. What a, it was a wonderful Christmas morning. And then I had a wonderful meal with my uh, mother and my grandfather. And on um, New Year's Eve, I just I had a very quiet one. I was actually playing Lord of the Rings online on New Year's Eve. And I was actually in the, the Lord of the Rings server at the Bells. So I was just sitting here on my own in my pants, typed Happy New Year on the keyboard, and then just kept on playing my game. <laughs> All right, let me get some water up in this bitch. I'll be right back. guys, but I put on loads of weight. <laughs> Can you sort of tell? Kind of. The old Christmas belly. Fucking hell. Fucking I've been eating like a monster. Eating like an absolute monster, guys. Um, I've ate so much pizza over the past, like, three weeks. I, uh, I hate myself for it. I was doing really well. I was on a really healthy, really, really healthy diet. I was exercising every day and stuff, and then I fell off the bandwagon hard. Fell, fell off the bandwagon hard over Christmas. So, um, this is day three back on the diet, back on the fitness plan and the diet again. So, the weight should start falling off me again pretty soon. Uh, Kima Sabi says, "What's your handicap, Mav? Cocaine and brunettes. I'm only kidding, bro. I don't have a handicap at the moment, Kima Sabi. My unofficial handicap is 18, though. Money says, Golf reminds me of Robin Williams' comedy routine about when they created golf. Yeah. Fucking R.I.P. Does your family know you fly Concord and X-Plane? Asks Aviation. Yes, they do. My, my mother watches the stream every now and then. Hi, Mum! Get off my stream, you fucking buster. Money says, I've never been good at golf yet. It takes a long time to get good at it, dude. It's a, it's, a, it's a very rewarding game when you're good at it. It's a very frustrating game when it's not going well. What's up, Yambo? Yambo's here on Twitch. Good to see you, Yambo, you buster. <laughs> Welcome back, sir. Good to see you, dude. Pilot went AFK. That's okay, though. How long would it take to get from Cyprus to London Heathrow and Concord, asks Anthony Cole. Probably f two and a half hours to three hours. Probably two and a half hours. Speedbird might head out to Heathrow for JFK now, Roger. Yeah, someone was asking earlier on if I'm going to fly from New York over to Heathrow after this flight. No, I'm just going to do, I'm just doing this one flight. And then that's going to be it for the streams today. I'm going to jump on and play some Lord of the Rings online with my friends. I do have friends. <laughs> a little bit, Kima Sabi. A little bit. I was very good at golf when I was in my teens. When I was about, I, I quit playing golf when I was 16. And then I, so I stopped playing for 20 years. And I just started playing uh, about six months ago. So it's, it's slowly starting to come back to me. I've been just... Uh, I still need loads of practice. I mean, I'm not great. I'm better than some of my friends, but I'm not great. 
Canardo on YouTube says, oh boy, I feel that on the weight. Got down to £190 before the holiday, trying to keep up the diet. Still hovering around 190 Nice one, bro. Yeah, I put on a lot of weight. Put on a lot of weight and ate like a fucking monster. So, um, those days are over, bro. Those days are over. Now we're back on the, back on the fitness plan, back on the uh, healthy diet as well. Hey, Clario, welcome back. What's up, Franklin? Welcome along. Pixie's in here as well. Good to see you, Pixie. What's up, Shrammy from... Greetings from Germany. Hello, dude. Welcome. Chris the Hard is here on YouTube as well. Happy New Year, Chris. Hope you had a good one. Yeah, money's saying, Lotro, how about some dog fights? I might come back to DC. Ah, fucking DCS, dude. I hate it. <laughs> I'm actually um, quite keen to do the... I don't know if you ever came with us, money, but the big the the DCS DCS endurance mission, so like the four, five, six hour missions. I'm, I'm quite keen to do those again. Those would be good. Those would be good. I don't know why I said that twice. You sound like me, but I'm a little older. Says Kima Savvy. Yeah, golf's a good game. I like golf. It's very rewarding, especially on a nice day. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing better than when you're playing golf with good people, you're out walking around, really nice scenery, because golf courses tend to be beautiful places. So, uh, yeah, nothing better. Nothing better. Well, there's, I mean, digging for gold is pretty is pretty rewarding as well. When you're up, up in the, the Scottish Highlands, knee-deep in water or waist-deep in water, digging in a river to try and find gold on a beautiful, sunny day. Nothing better, bro. Nothing better. Hey, Matthias, welcome back. You got the A10C Thunder Pot on DCS, and now it's a little. And I know it's a little, but I can take off on it. So nice. Kimasabi says, I love the long hauls. I love golf too, definitely. Yeah, the long hauls are good in DCS. I like them. We're going to go back to that. Like some of the missions where you, you have to do air to air refueling, or you're just not going to make it back to the boat. So we're going to have some of those back up on, hopefully, sometime soon. What's up, Genji? Welcome along. Um, it's Keeper says, don't you go to 60,000 feet slowly, then once you get to 60,000 feet, it's time to descend. No, Keeper, that's not true at all, sir. So generally, we'll get to, we'll, we, we're gonna, we get to 60,000 feet very quickly here because we only have 50 tons of fuel on the aircraft. Normally, when we fly from London to New York, we have about 85 or 90 tons of fuel on the aircraft. So the aircraft's normally 40 tonnes heavier, so it takes us a lot longer. That's why it takes us a long time to get to flight level 600, because the aircraft's 40 tonnes heavier. But because we only have 50 tonnes of fuel on board, we, we basically just rock it up. We, we almost pretty much go all the way up to 60,000 feet. But we'll be cruising at about 60,000 feet for just under an hour, and then we'll start our descent into New York. What's up, Scottish Chewy? Lang may your lum reek. Welcome, sir. Hope you had a good new year. I've never played golf in Perth, Danny, no. Where, where I've played, um, I don't think I've played, well, I've played, like, courses in the Scottish Highlands, but I've never played anywhere near Perth, brother, no. I'll put that on the list for this year, though. Hey, Von Hofmeyer, I did survive, sir. Welcome along. Good to see you, bro. Do you remember the two Americans at St. Martin? Vaguely. Are you going to tell me that you were one of them? Scottish Chewy on Twitch says, Can't remember the bell, so must have been a good one. Yeah, that sounds about right. If you can't remember it, that normally means uh, you probably had a good time. Take care, Kimasabe. Enjoy your work, sir. Have a good safety. Right, 59,000 feet. 1,000 to go. Osta says, have you ever done Dallas Fort Worth to, I think that's San Juan, TJSG? No. No, I've never, sir. That's the most, ra the most random thing anyone's ever asked me, my friend. <laughs> Why would I do that, bro? Why would I do that? Zomber says, God, imagine a, ha a cabin high 
a cabin altitude high emergency at 60,000 feet EM. I'm pretty sure that would be reasonably scary, sir. Reasonably scary. When are you going to get a new joystick? When you stop fucking asking me about it. I don't need one, money. I don't fucking need one, bro. I'm fucking out there shooting down the best guy, the best dogfighters in the game. Do you know what I mean? They don't fucking... Do you know what I mean? They shoot, if, I, if, I, if I fly against you ten times, bro, I'll shoot you down four times. That's good enough for me. It's good enough for me, bro. Going, going guns only against someone of your caliber with all your training, all your fucking, all the experience you've got with all your expensive hardware as well. I rock up my fucking forty dollar joystick. Fucking tap that ass four out of ten. <laughs> fucking all day, every day, bro. All day, every day. In fact, money, you better just fucking slow your roll, bro. There's been quite a few times you've really, you've fucking, never mind four out of ten, dude. There's been a few times you've really struggled. You've really struggled to get behind old fucking Maverick and his $40 joystick and put the moves on him. Fucking buster. Fucking shot that ass down with a $40 joystick. Same with fucking Stoogie. Good old Stooge, easily one of the best dogfighters in the in the whole game, in the entire DCS community. Who shoots him down? Fucking big dog. I mean, I mean, normally Stooge kicks my ass, but again, same 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 example. If I fly against Stooge ten times, I'll get him at least four with a forty dollar joystick. <laughs> oh money! Oh bro, that's so nice of you, dude. That's so nice of you. Money says, I always struggle, Maverick. I just don't let on. That's, that's a very nice way for you to say, bro. I'm always in there fucking sweating like fuck. Like, oh shit, it's money, bro. Hey, Shamrock, my man. Shamrock, are you from Ireland? It's got to be from Ireland, my name, like Shamrock. Get that fucking parrot in here! <laughs> Get him out of here, he's a goddamn buster. We're over the water. What's up, a lab? Keeper says, don't you have to put the frequency for the waypoint in nav? No. Like, I know you have to put the position north and east for each waypoint, but how do you know which waypoint you're directly passing to or over? With our inertial navigation computer, young man. So, we're not flying VOR to VOR, dude. That's not what we're doing. We're flying from waypoint to waypoint. So right now, the aircraft is flying from waypoint 2 to waypoint 3. So the aircraft, so that is waypoint 2. We've entered that information into the aircraft to tell the aircraft where waypoint 2 is. We've also told the aircraft where waypoint 3 is. So all the aircraft does is it basically draws a straight line from waypoint 2 to waypoint 3 and it flies along that line. Then once we get to waypoint 3, that's going to change to from waypoint 3 to waypoint 4. And the again, the aircraft will just draw a straight line from waypoint 3 to waypoint 4 and it'll fly along that line. Once we, we, we can only enter in 9 waypoints. So once we get to waypoint 9, we will then enter, so, well, we'll do it before we get to waypoint 9. Once we pass waypoint 9, is what I should have said, the aircraft will then go to from waypoint 9 to waypoint 1. So all we do is just enter in a new waypoint 1. And I can actually do that now because we are going from waypoint 2 to waypoint 3. So we're no longer using waypoint 1. So I can go ahead and enter in new coordinates for waypoint 1 for when we get into the next cycle. And that's actually going to be Kennedy itself, 40384 West 73467. Hitting up that 60,000 snatch. Hey, what's up, RD Gritch, the crazy Scott in the Concord? Let's go. You're goddamn right. Somebody ring the horn. Welcome on board, sir.
Hey, Danny. Danny says, got myself Act of Sky at Christmas. Nice. Fucking hell, bro. And the Canary Islands Orbix. I didn't know that was out, dude. I'll need to get that. Someone got a new... Who got a new PC? I remember someone got a new PC for the for Christmas. I think it was you, Danny, you fucking buster. Jesus Christ, dude. What Christmas you had? New PC, Act of Sky, and fucking Canary Islands Orbix. Fucking hell. Magic Beans on YouTube says, your knots on the top of the screen. Is it different to what it says on the control panel? No, bro. That is our ground speed. So, what do you see? You see 1,155. So, our ground speed in miles per hour is one... We're doing 1,320 miles per hour. Which is 1,153 nautical miles per hour. Hey, Vietnam Bush, welcome back, sir. G'day, mate. Best Christmas ever for Danny, you fucking... Sounds, sounds like it, bro. Hey, Flight underscore Concord has joined us on YouTube. Welcome along, sir. I love the name. Oh, you bought those with your own money, Roger, Danny. Oh, well, still a good Christmas, bro. King Camo says... What was that spud knocker situation about a month or two ago? There was... I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. I don't even talk to that kid, so... I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. Apart... All right, so your parents got the PC as a present and you bought Active Sky and our stuff. Roger that. Roger, Danny. You young fucking buster. So we're inbound to Bermuda at the moment, guys. Show you where we are on the map. So there's a Caribbean down there. Take a little flyby action here. Go, baby, go. Fuel transfer. Looking good. <laughs> nice one, thanks, Fearless. I'll post that onto uh, Twitch. It's fucking finky words. <clears throat> oh. That's a horrible link. Copy link location. What the fuck? There you go, Twitch. Click on that as well. You can watch the uh, flight progress on there also. What are we doing for coffee? Low. Coffee is low. Nice. Thanks, Fear. So yeah, it won't take very long. The total track distance is 1,525 nautical miles. We're doing nearly 1,200 nautical miles per hour. So yeah, it's about, the flight time's about an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes. It's one of the better flights as well. It's, uh, it's, it's a very short hop. Normally all the flights we do in Concord are always three and a half hours or four hours long. So it's nice just to change it up every now and then and do a... A flight where we still get to fly supersonic out over the ocean, but we're not stuck in the goddamn cockpit for four hours. What's up? Kirill PG, welcome sir on YouTube. Discovering the channel at the moment. Welcome, my friend. St. Martin to New York is a route I never thought of when I used to fly Concorde years ago in Flight Simulator with a very highly detailed and complicated Concorde add-on. Well, you're missing out, my friend. You missed out. The good news is there's Lots of time for you to maybe do that again in the future. We have uh, Concorde available for X-Plane. We also have Concorde coming out for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 later in the future. So, yeah, you could maybe turn that frown upside down, my friend. And take uh, Concorde out of St. Martin up to New York at some point in the future. It's a great little flight. 
fly northbound out. In fact, I'll show you guys. I can show you if you bear with me one second here. Nav map. Is that the right one I want? No. Right, hold on. Cancel. I know you can't see anything, guys. Just bear with me. Capture specific window. Nav charts. Okay. Why wouldn't that work? Alright, hold on. Display. Display capture. Boom. Must be this one. Yay, guys. So here is our route. So as you can see, nice, nice short little hop up from the Caribbean up just over Bermuda. And then from Bermuda up into uh, New York. This section here, um, sorry, here, this section here, this waypoint here is Kenda. So this is the normal, this is the, the normal arrival from London. Kenda and then to Lind, Owens and then ship. Cameron, sorry. Normally we're coming down this way from Halifax. We'll be coming down here, down to Kenda. Whereas this time we're coming up from the south. Keeper says, is the FXP Concorde buggy or is it good? What are your thoughts on it? I don't want to waste $44. If you don't, uh, it's, it's a combo, it's a very complicated aircraft to fly, dude. So, um, yeah. If you think you're just going to buy it and then start flying around like me straight away, it's not going to happen, bro. <laughs> it's not going to happen. You're going to really struggle with it for a little while. I do have a, a Concorde tutorial that you can watch, though. Tutorial. So what, what to do, right, is rather than... Just uh, listen to what I'm saying about it. Go and actually check it out yourself, dude. Go and click on that YouTube tutorial and you can go and have a look and see if it's something that you'd be interested in. It's not very buggy. Um, it's not a f it's The aircraft's still in its um, like open beta phase of development, so it's not finished yet. It still has quite a few systems to that are um, still to be modelled up to its full, up to full fidelity, but if you don't know if you don't know Concorde inside out, like if you don't know how to fly Concorde in real life or from another high fidelity simulator, there's not anything that you're going to notice. Um, but I do cover an awful lot in that um, tutorial if you want to check that out. Phoenix J says, "How long is the flight? About an hour and forty-five minutes." Money on uh, YouTube says, "I understand learning how to fly the plane, but I just can't get joy from one hour." plus flights on autopilot unless something is going on to get bombed or looking at some point. Ah, you get over that, bro. You get over that. I think it's something, if you've never done it before, it's a hard thing to understand why people would do it. But once you once you do it, dude, it's because it's... I'm, I mean, we're not on single player, so I mean, you get, you're get you dealing with... There's other planes flying around, you get air traffic control. Um, a lot of the time, the time fly by, flies by for me because I'm streaming and I'm fucking reading the chat or, do you know what I mean, talking to people, doing whatever. So that passes a lot of the time, but really, I mean, it really just depends on different strokes for different folks. It's not for everyone. I think it's, it's mainly for the hardcore AV, like, well, not aviation nerds but hardcore commercial aviation nerds more specifically because I know there's a lot of people that are very passionate about aviation but more specifically military aviation and don't really want to fly commercial jets at all and I, I totally get that I didn't fly commercial jets for more than 10 years while I was flying in DCS just flew the, the DCS military jets but yeah every now and then it's nice just to get a bit of change of scenery I got sick fed up with DCS anyway so it's nice to it's nice to be doing something, a nice change of pace, a nice change of pace, a great change of pace in fact, it's nice not to get shot at. Phoenix J says, yeah, take it from me, I just bought it and I can't get it off the ground, I'm sorry, and I can get it off the ground, but, as, but soon after the brown side comes up, the blue side goes down. Screen turns red and then starts to turn to fade. 
and then you all know that you know you all know how that ends. Yeah, I mean, you guys just have to kind of be, keep in mind and remember. A lot, of, a lot of you fucking youngins have been spoiled by all these PMDGs and whatever else with their FMCs and their CDUs and stuff. So coming to Concord can seem very intimidating because you don't have any of those tools. You're like, well, how the fuck am I supposed to navigate? It's like, bro, people navigated before we had FMCs and CDUs. But um, you, uh, yeah, what? So the point I was trying to make is that you have to remember that this is the most complex flying machine ever made, apart from like the, the space shuttle, the most complex flying machine ever made, guys. So keep that in mind, all right? Don't. It's not. It's not an easy mode fucking Airbus or or a Boeing seven three seven fucking what's it called? The uh, ah oh, fucking can't remember the name of it. It's a uh, Zebo or something. Fly Zebo or something like that. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not that aircraft, guys. It's, it's a very, very complex flying machine. You have to spend a lot of time learning the systems. Um, you have to be... It's not so much you have to understand in terms of, like, failures and things like that, because that's not really something you're going to be exposed to, but... Um, because the systems are isolated yet integrated, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of different systems that you have to... Uh, familiarize yourself with it's not everything's not integrated that do you know what I mean you can just set stuff to auto and then everything will look after itself you have to you have to really know what you're talking about not talking about but you have to know you have to know your aircraft this goes back to like the the, the golden days of flying when you really had to be intimately familiar with your aircraft I say the golden days of flying I sort of, I'm more I mean more that on, on like the sim not real life obviously the guys that fly 737s and stuff in real life they they know the air aircraft cold and know everything about it, but my point is, you can buy a fucking Airbus A320 or a fucking Boeing 737 simulator and just sit and smash buttons and pretty much work it out. You can't do that with Concorde, guys. You have to genuinely put in some time and some effort and some energy into learning how to do it, but it's very rewarding. It's incredibly rewarding. It's the most rewarding aircraft that you'll, you'll, you'll fly in a simulator. There's nothing quite like it. Nothing comes close to it, guys. Nothing comes close. She really is one of a kind. And the complexity of the aircraft just makes it more rewarding. Certainly for me, anyway. That's what I find. That's, I, I, I find it's the, the most rewarding aircraft to fly, specifically because it is such a complex aircraft. Take care, money. Look after yourself, my friend. Good to see you again. Have a good... Hope you have a good start to the new year. Fuck you, Pixie. Fucking buster. Pixie says, TU-144? Question mark. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. That's going to get a hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, don't time him out, Fear. <laughs> don't time him out, bro. He's, he's, he's just a fucking buster. How do I undo that? Fucking hell. That's my main man, Fearless, just having my back. Ah, well. Ah, Pixie, you brought that on your fucking self, bro. You know what, dude? You, you did deserve that, Pixie. You fucking did deserve that, bro. The very fact that you even brought up the TU-144. You're lucky you didn't get fucking banned. What do you think this is, a fucking game? So, yeah, I'll see you in ten minutes, you fucking buster. <laughs> Keeper says, this must have been an easy... This must have been easy to learn for the first generation of Concorde pilots, as they were used to the steam gauges, probably the SEVA, so... Ah, I wouldn't... I wouldn't... Ah. I would 50% agree with that. Yeah, because they'd all be coming from aircraft that all had the steam gauges and all the old analogue style cockpit. And whereas all these the crew these days, do you know what I mean? If, say, for, say, fucking Jeff Bezos decided to get Concorde flying again, all these busters would be coming from these glass cockpits and be like, uh, what the fuck am I doing? So, But yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It looks very complicated. I've said this before on stream that it actually looks a lot more complicated than it is. I mean, obviously, it's a very complicated aircraft. We're outside the aircraft, goddammit. You didn't see that, guys. Obviously, it is a very complicated aircraft. But 
with that being said, it's I know this sounds total fucking a total oxymoron. But it's not as complicated as it looks. Once you once you understand the systems, how they work, more importantly, why they work, it's a very intuitive aircraft to fly. Very intuitive. It makes sense when certain you you reach certain um, parts in the flight envelope. It makes sense why you would activate certain systems or um, engage certain modes or certain. Do you know what I mean monitor certain parameters because it all. It, it's, like I said, it's a very intuitive, it's a very clever aircraft, so... It's not as... It's, it's very complex, but it's not as space shuttle as it looks. And most of the systems are all... Like, for example, this is the... Like the so, all this up here. This is all one system. This is all our hydraulic management system here. Then we have our, our electrical generation system. And then this is all to do with the batteries. Down here's the oxygen. This is all the fuel panel. All this one panel here. So this is all one system. This is all one um, contained system here. The fuel panel. Um, yeah. So it's all sort of contained in blocks. And basically, you just learn what each block does and how to manipulate it. And same way up top as well. It's just basically this is just one system here. Um, so it doesn't doesn't take long how to learn how to operate this aspect of the aircraft. And then. The more practice you get, the, the easier it becomes. VOR to VOR was a thing, yeah, but uh, yeah, that's way, way back, Phoenix, way, way back. Concord never had to. I'm pretty sure she'd done some VOR to VOR flights in her, but I mean, it wasn't that wasn't a restriction on her. The INS computer, just as, just as sort of, um, well, within, within a hundred meters or so, just as accurate as the stuff that we have today. Yes, Glenn, I do. So fuck off. <laughs> Lee Russell says, Evening, Skipper. You well? Happy New Year. Kind of. Missed your streams, man. Thank you so much, Lee. Sorry I've been away for so long, dude. I felt bad about it. I, had, I was working a lot um, in the run-up to Christmas. I'm a truck driver in real life, so I've been doing a lot of trucking. Um, and... Uh, <sighs> Just after Christmas, I, I, I'll be honest, I didn't really, I didn't want to stream. I, did, I, I wanted to take a break from streaming for a couple of weeks, so I did that. And now I am back! So, good to see you. Thanks for joining us again, Lee. Working life always first, yeah. Normally, bro, normally I only work three days a week, but because I've been getting paid so much money because the Christmas overtime, I've been working six days a week, and then one day off, and then five days a week, two days off, six days a week, one day off, and so on and so on so Glenn people that don't get triggered man <laughs> don't get triggered I don't like I don't like it when I'm not going to say I don't like you Glenn but I don't like it when people say that I don't like it when people say if you're in, if you're intelligent you don't swear that's not fucking true at all that's not true I'm one of the most intelligent people I know I swear all the time I don't swear through a lack of vocabulary. I have an extensive lexicon and a, a almost near perfect recall. My, my vocabulary is incredibly extensive. But I, I choose to swear, my friend. It's just one of those things, Glenn. Just one of those things, my brother. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a 36 year old, fully grown man. I, my target demographic is adults. If you read my stream description, it says that my stream is not for children. So. I swear because I, I'm comfortable with swearing. And not nothing nothing quite I don't know, swearing's just I don't know. Swe swearing's part of my lexicon. It's it's part it's part of what makes you Scottish. It has nothing to do with intelligence, sir. Just because I swear doesn't 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 detract from my level of intellect. I choose to swear. I don't swear because I don't have I, I don't have any alternative words that I could use. I swear because I'm comfortable swearing. I think the notion that intelligent people shouldn't swear, I think that's very antiquated. I think there's a time and a place for swearing. I know when to use my, my job interview voice. I'm smart enough to understand that there are there's, there's times when a swearing isn't appropriate. 
but sitting in my own home at my own computer in a pair of pyjamas is certainly not an inappropriate time to swear, sir. So if you're not enjoying the stream, I suggest you move on, my friend. Because I'm not going to stop swearing because it upsets you, some random fucking stranger watching another random stranger on the internet. And on that note, I'm going to go and get some fucking water. Supposed to be minus nine tonight, guys, where I live. Minus nine! Let me check the temperature. Minus nine! It's only minus one right now. It feels a lot colder than minus one. Right, I'm scrolling up to catch up on a chat, so just bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Phoenix J says, Now airways and GPS navigation have done away with the actual pilot navigation. Sort of. I am on Twitch Keeper, yeah. Lee says, Cool, did it take you a while to remember how the Big Bird works? Not really, bro, because I've done this so many times, it, it, it all comes back to me very quickly. I do have the checklists... I did have the checklist standing by. There, I did have to very quickly just peruse down the checklist just to make sure that um, I didn't I didn't forget anything. But no, bro, I've, I've done this hundred thousands of times, my friend. I've, done, I've flown Concorde thousands of times, so it's not something that um, it's not something that I forget very uh, very easily. So it's a little bit like riding a bike, bro. Do I do international trucking as Speedbird? No, bro. All my trucking is in Scotland. Lee says, I've got a master's, a first degree, and I swear like a fucking... <laughs> I'm not going to say the C word, because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, Americans get really triggered about that. Fuck them. <laughs> so go fuck them. It's a cultural thing. Yeah, it's a cultural thing. A lot of Scottish people swear. We, it's, Sweden's just part of our sort of... I don't know. Our DNA. We sw Scottish people, we, we swear a lot. We swear a lot. <laughs> Glenn Lynch says making us Glens look bad. That's why double double and Glens are the best. I think he only has one. Yeah, you're okay, Glenn. He was a single end Glenn. You're a double end Glenn. Double says we have a very well stocked swear jar in our house. So I'll have my own, bro. So I don't need to worry about um, upsetting anyone else. Hey, what's up, Ross? Welcome along. It's Keeper says, What are your X-Plane settings? Your game looks very good, bro. I'll, I don't like doing this because it pauses my flight, but I will quickly show you. So if you want to screenshot that, my friend, take a screenshot of that. Well, you're watching on YouTube anyway, so if, if you don't get a screenshot, you can always rewind the stream and go back and see that part. But yeah, it's supposed to be minus nine tonight, guys. Minus nine. Lee says, you might hate this, but I'm a Scottish guy who lives in London. Along with Still Game and Two Doors Down, keep, uh, keep me sane. You, sorry, you along with Still Game and Two Doors Down, keep me sane. Well, you're a brave man, dude. I've, I've, been, I've never lived in London, but I've been many times. I don't like it, dude. There's way too many people. Way too many people. 
There's so much ATC online in Europe, says Woozle. Oh, fucking hell. You're absolutely right, dude. Almost the, almost the whole of Northern Europe is covered. Almost. A little bit of Norway is offline, but... Full ATC coverage over the United Kingdom, guys. If any of you guys want to go on the UK and start flying around. Hit up that UK snatch. Right, still trying to catch up with a goddamn chat. Uh, secret. Chips, cheese and a donner. We're on it till tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, bro, those days are over. God damn it. Get the sad song on. I'm back on the diet, bro. I'm back on the fucking diet. Australians use the C word five times in a sentence, says Pixie. Yeah, we use the C word as a term of endearment. I know that the C word is horribly offensive in America, but we'll say stuff like... Like, hey, do you know that guy Pixie? Pixie, yeah, I know Pixie. Pixie's a good cunt. Pixie's a good guy. Uh, stuff like that. So yeah, we we drop the c words like, ah, oh, yeah, I can't. Don't worry, man. I like you. You're a good cunt. I've always liked you. You're a good, you're a, you're, a, you're a good guy. You're a good cunt. So we we say we say cunt as a term of endearment. Sometimes we'll say like, I'll call my friends. I'll say, oh, don't be such a stupid cunt. And my my friend isn't going to do. You know what I mean, like get overly upset at me because I've called him a, a c word. It's just another swear word here in Scotland. I actually, and I think this is the same for most people in the United Kingdom, we think it's hilarious how offensive it is in America. Like, you say cunt in America, the whole room goes, <gasps> it's like, guys, it's just a fucking swear word. It's just another word for a vagina. Do you know what I mean? That's all it is. It's another word for a vagina. That is all it is. Why do you guys take it so fucking seriously? Hey, Big Mac, 1298. What's up, Big Dog? Hello here. Hello, new here. I'm Scottish, but live in the Cotswolds. Welcome along, my Scottish friend. Good to see you, sir. Good to meet another Scotsman. I hope you're well. Cotswolds, a beautiful part of London. London, England, I think, anyway. I think the Cotswolds, that's quite a, a rural place, isn't it? It wasn't a coup, Pixie. It was a bunch of fucking idiots. That's all it was. It wasn't a coup. Phoenix Chase says, I'm a black 31-year-old from Los Angeles. I swear like a Scottish sailor. And my whole family swears. It's a must. Nice one, brother. Nice one. Right, we're finally caught up on the chat. Hello, Draco. Right, so we've passed by Bermuda, guys. So we actually don't have long to go until we start. We don't have long to go to top of drop, guys. Top of descent. That's going to come up pretty quickly. So, <clears throat> I'm thinking about if, like, you, some of you guys that are, I think most of the people here that are watching are reasonably new to my stream in terms of you, you didn't really watch me do a lot of DCS content. I know there's a lot of veterans watching as well on the the, the, the stream right now, but um, I'm, I'm thinking about doing mission editor streams in DCS where I basically just stream me building missions in the, um, the, the, the mission editor. So like a, what I'm planning on doing is a, a, a new sort of video stream series called DCS Endurance where we do long range endurance missions in DCS where you take off from an aircraft carrier you're in the air for like 5 or 6 hours 4, 5 or 6 hours the mission lasts for you got to air to air refuel like 3 or 4 times um, you'll be doing really long range flights to targets and stuff like that so I'm thinking about actually doing streaming the mission editor building part of that so I'm not sure if that would be something you guys would would want to watch but um, I might I might start doing that I might start if, if the sort of old school guys that follow the stream re remember I don't think it was was it last year or the year before I did those streams I think it was the year before I can't remember dude it, it falls in, it falls by so quickly what's up small 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 Lulu that's what that says welcome not going to flex. I came over because I saw Concord about a month and a half ago. Fell in love. Welcome, sir. It's, a, it's an easy thing to have. It's an easy thing to do, bro. Oh, I've got a Concord t-shirt on. Oh, God damn it. i got a huge Concord collection worth more than a thousand pounds next to me as well. And 
Hey, I got a Concord mouse map, bro. That's a well fucking roll. <laughs> Grandad says you did some last year, Roger. Yeah, I'm thinking about them. I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing them again, Grandad. But I'm thinking about actually streaming the me building the mission, like actually doing the mission editor part. So I'm thinking about doing that soon. Pixie says, I remember you doing an endurance mission in DCS, Roger that. Phoenix says, I want that shirt, bro. I can't remember where I got it from, dude, but if you just go into Google and type in Concord t-shirt, you'll be able to get it. It's not an official one, but I think like the British Airways logos are all sort of smudged out a little bit. I think it's just like a random McRandomerson, but yeah. Get yourself onto Googles. Oh, googly schmoogly's. Secret on YouTube says, Concord is great. I saw one last year at the Duxford Air Museum. Roger that, my friend. I believe that is one of the testing Concords. It's not a BA or an Air France Concord. I believe that is one of the FT Concords. I'm just going to put a hoodie on guys, it's getting a little bit cold in here. Put a hoodie on, turn the heating up I think. What is it here? Yay! A Concord hoodie? God damn right! Oh, another donation! God damn it, guys! The donations are coming in thick and fast today. I tell you what, it's going to be plenty of cocaine and prostitutes next month for Maverick. Uh, Lee Russell says, "You're the most genuine streamer I've." Oh, Lee, don't make me start, Lee. <laughs> oh, bro, that's a very kind thing for you to say. You're the most genuine streamer I've watched. Keep doing. You need millions of subs. So many people are missing out on this. That's very kind of you, young man. Thank you. I'm not very marketable, bro, which is why I'm a, my channel, that's why I don't have a million fucking subscribers. I'm not, I'm not the most marketable streamer in the world, but thank you for your kind words, my friend. All the re, all the re kids hate me because I won't read out their chat. You see the, the like the little squeakers that come on, and like say, hello, 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 hello. And then they start raging, it's like, I said hello and you didn't say hello back. It's like, so fuck, bro. <laughs> I don't know who you are. Fucking idiot. Fucking bastards. But yeah, thanks for your support, Lee. Yeah, but the thing is, Lee, most people are bell ends. People are stupid, Lee. I don't know if you've noticed, bro. <laughs> Most people are fucking stupid. But yeah, I think this is going to be. A, I'm hoping this is going to be a good year for the for the channel. My goal for last year, so so for 2019, the goal was to get the channel to 10,000 subscribers. We did that. The goal for 2020 was to get 20,000 subscribers. I think we've almost done that. I think we're on 19.5. So I could have made it. I could have made it to 20,000 subscribers if I'd um, tried a little bit harder. But we're right around on target. We're going to get to 20,000 subscribers in January. So I'd quite like to keep building on that momentum. I'd quite like for this year to try and get to, uh, by the end of this year, like 30,000 subscribers. And just keep building up and building up and building up. I don't think I want to be a full-time streamer. I don't think I'd like doing that, to be honest, guys. I, I do enjoy... I do enjoy streaming. But if I'm totally honest with you, all right? Sometimes... Sometimes you don't want to stream. Sometimes it's... Sometimes you just don't feel like streaming. And I, I don't think... 
I don't think I would like to have to rely on streaming like as my as my income, like to to survive to stay alive. I don't think I would like that because that means I have to stream. I, I, I have so much fun, and I hope that comes across when I stream as well. I have so much fun when I stream because it's, I, I enjoy doing it. I want to do it. I, I, I have fun when I'm um, streaming because I, I want to stream. Whereas if I if I stream when because I have to stream, like even if I, if I don't feel like it, if I'm not in a good mood, I have to come on and stream because that's how I make my money. I don't think I would enjoy it at all. So. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what the plan is long-term for the channel or anything. I'd quite like to just keep building it and see what happens. Just see where it goes. See what happens. I, I would quite like to... Um, sort of have it contribute to more than, like, 50% of my income. So, like, for example, I'd, I'd maybe just drive a truck one or two days a week and then stream for three days a week and then that's, that's, the kind of, kind of, that's how I'd make my money type of thing, but... We'll see how it goes. I am a quali fully qualified truck driver, so I suppose that if I try the full time streaming thing and it doesn't work out, I've always got a, I've always got the truck driving to fall back to. God damn it, guys! Another donation. Fucking hell. Stop giving me money. <laughs> oh, bro, my man Brent Norman coming in heavy with another donation. Here's a tenner for the cocaine and prostitutes fund. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. You're goddamn right. Helping stimulate the economy. I am ex Navy, so not offended by the swearing. Love your content, mate. Thank you so much, Brent, and thank you for your service as well, sir. How did you find the channel, Brent? Have you seen me fly any DCS stuff, or did you find the channel on the the Concord streams? Because I do a lot of. I've never served in the Navy in real life, but when I fly in DCS, I tend to only fly the the Navy jets. So I'm a massive. I'm a massive Navy fanboy, so it's good to have you with us, Brent. Thanks again for your support, sir. <laughs> yeah, Pixie, I would, yeah. Lee says, that's what makes it good, though. People who turn their passion into a job tend to lose their passion. Yeah, exactly. I've not seen that happen many times. Keep the day job and use YouTube for the, the cake and honey. So, yeah, exactly. That's my sort of plan, dude. I'd, like I said, it, it, being a full-time streamer sounds great, but see, when you think about the reality of it, uh, no, I don't, think, I, don't, I don't think it would be that great, dude. I don't think it would be that great. I have no idea, like, like, like Dr. Disrespect does it. I mean, I'm a huge Dr. Disrespect fan. I love the guy. Um, and I've always sort of admired him. I mean, I've, I've always had a lot of respect and admiration for him. But see, now that I've been streaming for like a year or two years or two or two, I think it's like three years or something we've been streaming for now. Dude, that guy has so... I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. The fact that he earns millions and millions of dollars every year, that definitely will help out. But... Man, that guy's got that, that guy's got some amount of energy to. Because the smart people that watch the stream, I've said this before many times. The smart people that watch my stream, guys, understand that this is a heightened version of my personality. This is not like who I really am in real life. And um, yeah, for Doctor Disrespect to be able to sort of stay in character for all like all day, every day, eight hours a day, five days a week, dude, that must be exhausting. I know at the end of your stream, I'm I'm pretty tired at the end of your stream. Um and I'm not doing anywhere near the type of stuff he's doing, so yeah, I got a lot of respect for that guy. Just for the just for the fucking his endurance, the stamina to be able to stay in character for so long all the time. It must be absolutely exhausting. Yeah, Fearless says, what approach are you taking for JFK? That's a good question, Captain. Let's get a quick weather check. Top Metar KGFK. The winds are 320 at 15 knots. Excuse me. So it looks like... Fucking hell. It looks like it'll be 3-1 right. 3-1 right, Fearless, I think. You should stream a truck ride one day, says Lee. I would like to do something like that, dude, but unfortunately I work for quite a big company and there's no way they would allow that. I would lose my job if I did that, Lee. Maybe one day, like on my last day, if I get like if I get a new job, like the, the last day working in my current job, I'll maybe do something like that. But yeah, unfortunately they 
my, my company would freak out because of the insurance and all that crap. They would, I would never get it signed off. So we're going to be landing on free one right. Unfortunately, we can't do the Canarsi arrival fearless. The winds are basically 15 knots in the other direction. So the winds are free two zero at 15 knots. So we'll be landing on free one right. And we'll be parking at the British Airways terminal here, Terminal 7. So we'll see if we can vacate. We might catch Victor if we're lucky. If not, Uniform 3. We'll backtrack down Uniform and in via Alpha 1 for Terminal 7. We are inbound to our deceleration point right now, guys. We're going to start the decel with uh, 6060 miles. 60 miles till the next waypoint. Hey, what's up, Tanj? Tinch? On uh, Twitch, we are indeed at 60,000 feet, my friend. Welcome on board. Edge of space, motherfucker. Edge of space. Anthony's been following since last year, last autumn. Roger that, bro. Oh, Brent was actually DC streams for a long time. You helped me get the Harrier under control for the shipborne ops. I'm glad that. I'm glad I could help, Brent. I actually get quite a lot of good feedback about the... Um, the Harrier tutorials, because it's, it's a, the Harrier's a, the Harrier's a bit like Concorde, very, very demanding aircraft to fly. So you have to have um, quite a strong skill set to fly the Harrier. Well, yeah, no, that's right, I was going to say, maybe not to fly it, but to, op to operate it, you, you certainly do, but... Yeah, the Harrier's a very difficult aircraft to operate. <laughs> Danny says he's catfishing us, boys. Elaborate, Danny, what if... How am I catfishing? What are you talking about? How dare you, sir? What is this? We all know the fake accent, says poor guys. Yeah, like I said, bro, I'm actually a 47-year-old Korean woman. I'm just very good at voices. Uh, Kareel says, how do you handle the stress of having a stream while taking off with such a complicated sim? It can be quite stressful, dude. It can be quite stressful, but you get... You, I think because I've, I've been flying aircraft on a computer for like 22 years. Um, yeah, I have, I have a lot of experience, so... But I'll be honest, when I, usually I, I, I... Especially when I'm streaming, I always get super, super nervous coming into land. Because I know there's so... Sometimes there's like 300 odd people watching. Two or three hundred people watching, and uh, yeah, that can be quite nerve wracking. Right, top of descent. Let's get a check this thing. Right, I haven't done this for a while, so we'll just get a checklist out to make sure we don't forget anything. We're 30 miles away. Oh shit, I better put the seatbelt signs on. Right, so engine research valves need to be opened. And then throttles to 18 degrees TLA, tanks 1 and 4, we've got checked, and the hydraulic. Tank 11 hydraulic pump should be off. Alright. 13 miles, and then we're going to start descending. Witto on Twitch says, I'm flying about 500 miles west of you in the 763, taking it nice and slow down to Orlando. Nice, brother. Let's see if I can see which one you are. What's up, my main man, Harry? What's up, Harry, you buster? Good to see you, sir. Harry's coming out in Newark if it's the same guy. You're from Manchester, bro. What the fuck are you doing flying a United 767? Ah, never mind it. Don't listen to me, Harry. There's, I, I know a lot of people from the UK enjoy flying, especially at this time of day as well. There's a lot of ATC online on Batsum at this time of day. So have a good flight, Harry. Enjoy it, my man. Chewie is a full-time streamer, dammy boy, yeah. Yuri says, where are you from in Scotland? Just outside Edinburgh. Lee asks, what would be the longest range in Concord? Around about 4,000 miles, Lee. Around about four. You wouldn't get much change out of 4,000 miles anyway. Pixie says, your Harrier tutorials have helped me. I don't know how that would be, sir, since you fly those fucking Russian rust buckets all the time, but I'm glad they helped. I'm glad to help my friend. Shit, I forgot about the diesel point. We passed it right. So. Auto throttle off. Power's coming back to 18 degrees TLA. Power is set. And we'll go ahead and dial up 32,000 feet. All 
All right, guys, we're now slowing down. We haven't started our descent just yet. We're going to wait till our indicated airspeed gets to within uh, a certain parameter, and then we'll start descending. At the moment, we're just decelerating. We actually have the engine flight rating to climb now. So once we see 360 knots, We'll start the descent, and then once we get the indicated airspeed to 350 knots, 350, what the fuck? Um, we'll, we'll change the autopilot mode to indicated airspeed hold, so the aircraft will pitch the nose up and down to maintain 350 knots as we take more power off the aircraft. What's happening with this fucking camera? <laughs> Fearless says, where's the professional emote we got to get? I think we should get on a t-shirt as well, dude. We do have God Pilot. That's always pretty handy. But yeah, you're right, bro. We, we do need to get some sort of professional emote. Oh, I don't have God Pilot on Twitch. Oh, we're just going to be honest. Oh, to good Pilot. Fearless says, dude, I'd buy that shirt. Guys, I'd love to do that. I'd love to have merch and stuff, but... Um, I suppose I should just go to Fiverr, shouldn't I? That's what I should do. Go to Fiverr, get someone to design a logo, and we'll start getting t-shirts printed out. That's what we'll do, guys. I will get on Fiverr at some point soon. Alright, 360 knots. Pitching down. I'll go to Fiverr and get some Maverick like logos. I uh, wouldn't be able to use that one because it's copyright, but you know what I mean. We'll get some Maverick, um, I'll get some logos and stuff like that, and then I'll get a, I'll get a little merch store. We'll get a t-shirt that says, fuck off, you buster, or something like that. <laughs> Alright, indicated airspeed hold now. Okay, once we get to Mach 1.5, we're going to bring the power back even more, so at the moment... We are at 18 degrees TLA, that stands for Throttle Lever Angle. And you see this little notch here? That means that's 18 degrees. Once we get to Mach 1.5, we're going to bring it all the way to here, which is 32 degrees. And our rate of, our rate of descent will um, increase greatly. Because remember, we've, we've entered into an indicated airspeed hold mode on the autopilot. So basically all the autopilot's doing is just making sure the aircraft stays at 350 knots indicated. So the more power we take off, obviously the slower the aircraft wants to get, so the aircraft's going to des um, descend at, more at a more steeper angle to be able to maintain 350 knots. So there's Mach 1.5, we'll bring the power back now to 32 degrees TLA, nice and easy. That is set. And our rate of descent should severely increase. This is going to be like a nice little sunset arrival. Just modify it to stay 104th Maverick instead. It's a good idea, Fearless. It's a fucking good idea, bro. Yeah. Don't know what happened to my voice there. Ah. I say, me, I've turned down an 11 year old girl. Never mind. I always wanted to be a princess. Finally got my wish. Time check. Fuel's okay, dude. Did I check the fuel tanks? We have 21 tons of fuel. We are at, at, we're already under the maximum landing weight already, so we're okay. We weigh 107 tons. The aircraft's maximum landing weight is 111 tons. Yummy says, please crash. Negatory. Sorry, son, I don't take requests.
46,000 feet. So, set flight level 200. We want to be at flight level 200 by uh, Owens. Is that right? Yeah, Owens. Fuel is coming forward. Gears off. Hey, Desert, welcome back, sir. Hey, Mav, I've been flying the MIA in DCS. Reminded me of your Medivac content. It's worth a whirl if you got the time. I've never flown it, bro. I've never flown it. But uh, quite a few guys in the 104 fly it. They, they, I always hear that it's a, it's a great aircraft, it's great fun to fly, so... Eh. I'm not really a massive fan of the Russian aircraft, bro. I'd prefer to fly a Chinook rather than the Mi-8, but... We obviously don't have that in DCS yet, but yeah. I'll maybe give it a try, my friend. I'll maybe give it a try. Hey, no, I'm welcome. The Concorde pitches the nose up and down... Auto to slow the aircraft. ADR at sixty, at sixty angels. Isn't that a little dangerous if it falls and you go shooting out of the atmosphere? That's not really going to happen, bro. No. <laughs> Dude, if we went shooting out the atmosphere, we'd have fucking bigger problems than the autopilot. Luckily, physics is a thing, and that wouldn't be able. To, that wouldn't be possible. Alright, just about to go subsonic, 11594. Yeah, a little bit early, that's okay though. Better to be too early than too late. So we are now subsonic, guys. We're now below the speed of sound. We'll go ahead and turn the pressure static gears back on. The ADS engine probe gears can come back on as well. Uh, transparency, D mists. Just wonder what I'm advisor, D ice, and a D mist on. Throttle master, like we don't do. Uh, what is this? Oh. I'll try, Joffrey. I will try. ATC is on in New York, says uh, Fearless. Oh, so it is cams on. 128125. Thanks, Pen and a bit of paper out because I'm a trained professional. Hey, Schneckles, welcome back. Information X ray is current. Headset on so you guys don't hear the echo with the ATC. Depart Lindy 180, expect 31 right. Uh, X rays current, Slayer 641. Cam, good afternoon to you. Speedboat Concord 1 with you, flight level 270. We're descending flight level 200 for Owens, 44 miles to run with information X ray, expecting 31 right. And the speedboat calling, give us a few minutes, we're doing a shift change. Roger. Delta 3676, Lima Airspace, New York Center Offline, Red Services, Terminator, Free Exchange Proof. See you later. Unicom, Unicom 3676, good day. American 185, climb maintain 17,000. Hey, Mark. Happy New Year to you, my friend. Welcome back. Walker 434, uh, wind uh, 34013, 
runway 31 right clear land. 31 right clear land, we'll go 434. 377 Mike Whiskey, I've got your radar contact just southwest of Calverton. The center maintains 7,000 vectors, uh, ILS 31 right, Kennedy altimeter 3008. Sunset snatch. Hey, Berm, on the location, and we'll descend and maintain 7,000. Charlie, Oscar, November, November right. Charlie. Speedbird. Um, did you give me a... Uh, I'm sorry, for 3-1 right, did you give me a squawk? I, I got your old squawk here, you're good. Okay, thank you. Solaris 641, turn right, heading 190, descend and maintain 13,000. Turn right, heading 190, down to 13,000, Solaris 691. It says call sign Slayer. Well, that must be a military jet coming out or something. No, ADR, they don't. ADR's asking on Twitch, do they use VATSIM to train real air traffic controllers? No, bro. The, the, they have simulators that are a lot more complex than this. Information Yankee, not current, not total, 3038, did he say? Right, Information Yankee, the winds are 340 at 13. Three zero zero eight. So we're six forty one. Turn right, heading two zero zero. Turn right, heading two zero zero. That's player six forty one. American one eighty five. Clear direct D's. Okay, we're expecting three one right. So we'll go ahead and get the information for that. Three seven seven Mike Whiskey. Descend and maintain five thousand. Kenny out to earth three zero zero six. Descend five thousand three zero zero six. All right, so we want one 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 five set, and the uh, runway heading is three one four degrees. Three one four degrees set. One 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 five three one four is set. Take care, Granddad. Thanks for watching, sir. I'll see you next time, my friend. Alright, right, we're going to descend to 111,000 after our next waypoint. We've got 15 miles to run. 14 miles now. Uh, yeah, just ignore that speedbird. Just um, click past it, dude. It, once you're on the network, it should give you the code. It should say like H conk. It should look something like this. Ah, fuck. It should look something like that, bro. Yeah, ADR. Go, ADR, go to Google and type in VATSIM. In fact, you can do it in here. Boom. Check that out. Super Conquer, uh, uh, yeah, Super Conquer 1 has a near approach solid frequency. Yes, sir. Go for Speedbird 1. Super Conquer 1 heavy squawk 1066. 1066 coming up. Speedbird 1. Alright, I was going to start descending on my own, but because he's spoken to me, he's asked me to squawk a code. He's going to be looking for me on his radar screen now, so I need to wait for him to give me instructions to descend. Okay, Redwood 12, 
Robert 12, uh, I have no flight plan on file. I assume you're coming into Kennedy, so if you could just file, that'd be great. Sounds like a young man. Yeah, we just refiled Redmond 12, hopefully you got it. Uh, Redmond 12, yep, squawk uh, 1030. One, zero, three, zero, oh, that's a bad time you need to pee, guys. Walker, four, three, four, vacate at three, one, right. I'm gonna have to wait until. Well, as soon as he gets me my descent clearance, I'm gonna Walker, go and pee. Uh, four, thirty-four, <laughs> welcome to Kennedy State Park. Uh, request terminal one, Walker, four, five, four. Uh, Walker, uh, four, thirty-four, taxi to terminal one via left turn alpha into the ramp. Have a good one. Alpha into the ramp, Walker, four, thirty-four, thank you. Hey, Aaron, welcome. Just about uh, to come to land in New York. Nice one, thanks Fearless. Yeah guys, remember to hit that like button if you're enjoying the stream, brothers and sisters. Contact one zero miles Helps me out. Um, to be west of Lundy intersection, flight level 230. Descend and maintain flight level 190. Expect vectors ILS really through and right approach. Now I'm going to quickly right, so sneak away and do this now. Uh, Turn the volume up so I can hear if he tries to talk to me. Approach FedEx 3023, heavy short four left, ready for departure. Speedway Concord 1, just confirm it's 111,000. I know all this, bro, I should just to confirm the. Okay, down to 111,000, leave Cameron heading 040, expecting 3 1 right. Speedway 1. This guy's left us um, way late. I think he forgot about me. Hey, what's up, Matt? Good to see you again. The King Overtime returns. How are you doing, Mav? Incidentally, what happened earlier on the helicopter stream is what happens when you're watching your stream. On the Wait a Incidentally, what happened earlier on the helicopter stream is what happens when you're watching your stream on the television in the living room and your girlfriend has the iPad in the bedroom. <laughs> 
3008 set. Good to see you again, Matt. You joined us just in time, bro. We're just coming to land in uh, New York. I'm fucking too hot now. I'm going to take this hoodie off. I'll be right back. Leave Cameron 040. Hey, Nemesis, welcome back, sir. Uh, there are three seven seven like with Thanks, the off course from the localizer. Uh, field is uh, Kennedy, is at your 10 o'clock in nine miles? You have inside. I do. Can I go visual? Number 377 Mike with the yep, clear visual approach for nice 3 1 right. Appreciate it. Oh, uh, 300 knots. Right. Uh, rad INS switch back to Rad. Redwood 12, descend and maintain 8000. Done 8000, Redwood 12. Alright, back. Let's get this uh, approach check. Let's turn cross. Lead valve should be all off. Engine Just reset valve to shut. Secondary air doors to auto. The engine control schedule from uh, fly over, sorry, from normal to approach. Speed conquer one heading to center maintain. The center maintain four thousand. Four thousand. Speed one. Alaska ten twenty two radar contact. Right, let's talk about two fifty knots. Cross Lendy at maintain flight level one nine or zero two five zero knots. Thanks, Matt. I've been watching you all night. Great takeoff out of St. Martin. I shall rejoin the Captain's Club by February. By February. By Friday, the 15th of January. Thank you very much, sir. Looking forward to having you back on board. Hey, Meredith is here. Good to see you, young lady. I'm here. Just pulled you up on the YouTube app on my tablet, and that doesn't have a chat feature. Watching you while I get stuff done around the house. Godspeed, young lady. I'm going to land in New York. And then I'm going to get on Lord of the Rings. So you'll catch us. If you get on um, TeamSpeak. Should, should have the whole gang on tonight. We should have me, Fearless, One Flew Over, Alara should be along as well. You've met her. And uh, Meredith. Should be five of us. I think Alara's laptop's still giving her problems, so, so she might not be able to join us in-game. Right, make sure everything's done in the back. The D ears are off uh, back and front. Engine restart valves are shut. The secondary air doors are set to auto. We have the engine control schedule set to approach. We'll turn the brake fans on. We'll jump up top and make sure the taxi turn lights are on. Eight miles from Zoo Lab. Turn left heading 340. Maintain 2000 till established on one class. Turn left 301 right approach. Turn left 340. Uh, and the nose to five. Reduce speed at 230. Speedbird conquered one heavy. Descent maintain 2000. Descent maintain 2000. Speedbird one. PR says Twitch is down. Roger. Fuck Twitch. I don't know why that would happen, Alexander. You have to go to the options and set up the airplane controls. My joystick works in Arma for an aircraft, dude, so I mean, it's not as if it does, just doesn't work. It definitely does. Hey, Tony, welcome along. Just in time. Alright, quick aircraft weight check here. 103 tons, so we're anticipating a landing weight of about 100 tons, 101 tons. 
maybe 102. So we're going to be very light, guys. That gives us a V ref. Dasher 598 clearance available, advice ready. 102 gives us a VREF of 155 knots. We're going to take 160 to be safe. God damn it, now the nerves are coming, guys. Now I'm getting nervous. Nerves are building. Nerves are building. Transition Yankee, or Transition. It's fucking loud! Why is it so loud? Shane McTune! That's 598. I'm sorry, you're clear to the Manchester airport, that's my apologies, but your readback is correct. You have, you have to do it, Alexander, you have to manually do it, it doesn't do it automatically, bro. Right, two thirty knots. Level five. We'll take the nose all the way down, right? There are three seven seven Mike whiskey straight ahead whiskey into the ramp. Have a good one. Straight ahead whiskey. The visor was already down. Fearless, you fucking buster. That's the nose. Fucking! I put the, the visor down going through ten thousand feet. I think. Sir, six forty one wind three one three one right three one right clear to land. Clear to land three one right copy land flare six forty one. All right. Uh, engine rating to take off. Yeah. Fucking bastard! Just a polite reminder, fearless. All right. Sorry, you might not be able to see that. I'll put that right up there, bro. Just a polite reminder, sir. What do you think this is a game? Fucking bastard, bro. You'll be out. You'll be fucking looking for a new kinship. This guy, fearless the bold. You'll be fucking fearless the cold. That's what you'll be. Cold and alone. Fucking bastard. Checking out that flyby snatch. I had to do that little stutter, that do, 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 do. that's annoying. Alright, I'm nervous as fuck. I can feel the sweat building. I can feel the sweat building on my back. Alaska 1022, turn right, heading 180, descend to maintain 16,000, carry up tethers 3008, uh, vectors ILS right, through and right approach. 180, Okay, we've been cleared to 2,000 feet, we're nearly there. Well, that's very low for... I'm surprised it cleared us all the way down. Turn left. Uh, you're 9 miles from Zulab. Turn left, heading 340. Maintain 2,000 till established on localizer. Cleared on last runway 3 on right approach. Left now, 340. Maintain 2,000 till established 3 1 right approach. Speedbird Concord 1. Redwood 12, fly hitting 050 to set and maintain 2000. 050 down to 2000. 13 miles. Redwood 12, caution with materials, you're going to be in trail of a uh, heavy Concord. Master warning, it's intimidated. Recall, there's nothing there. Master warning, inhibit. Welcome to Kennedy. Exit left when able and safe parking. Come on. Stop doing that! My right mouse button keeps getting stuck for some reason. Well, I'm getting cranky because I'm nervous. Stress! Alright, localizer should be moving soon. Let's talk about 200 knots. I can see the airport just out to the left there. Come on, localizer, help me out. Where are you at? Left 22, can we get lower? 
All right, localizer's alive. Alaska 1022 to center, maintain 13,000. 13,000, Alaska 1022. Eight miles, fucking hell. There's a runway there. 314 degrees is set. Speedberg Concord 1 heavy. The wind 34013, runway through and right clear to land. 3 1 right, clear to land, Speedbird 1. Solaris 641, welcome to Kennedy. Just the gear. Uh, international D, right? 6, 4, uh, Solaris 641, what terminal would that be? Uh, I, I, I can't read a terminal on here. Um, I'll just take the nearest, nearest one, man. Terminal T would be fine. Double's gonna get track IR next. Nice, dude, Joe. That, that's a game changer. That's a game changer, brother. All right, glide slopes alive. Me, 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 me. Um, gear down, please. Well, about a pair. Checked. Four greens. Oh shit. Should I change it? Yes, definitely. Definitely change the fucking fuel trim. The engineer trim for the landing. landing. Thank you very much for that. Alright, 160 we're looking for. Alaska 1022 turn left heading 130. Alright, localizer is a thing. We're working on getting back on the glide so we're a little low, we're correct and high. One five. We don't want to be any slower than 155. Ideally, I want to be 160. Still a little low, Maverick. Let's work that out. Work it out nice and early so we can get on profile as soon as possible. 160 knots. Glide slope's good. Sorry, localizer's good. We're still working on the glide slope. Come on, Maverick. Get that nose up and get this done. Nose all the way up. Power on. Let the glide slope come to you. We are drifting left, correct and right. Slightly fast. Alaska 1022, now hitting my boundary. Just trying to maintain 8,000. White slope's looking good, localizer's looking good. Yeah, Four greens checked. To, uh, usually the guys who come in off, uh, Lee, we have a donation on approach, you got this, we're all counting on you, thanks dude. Stay over Newark and LaGuardia's airspace. Understood, Alaska. Little fast, drifting left, correct and right. Going low. Four greens. Redwood 12, turn left heading uh, 010. 500 feet. Stable. We're low. Correct then. Four hundred feet. Three hundred. Mega low. Doesn't look good. Cool. Land. All right, I'm going to switch to visual now. What's the time? Whoa. Whoa! Contact. 20 feet and then we hit the ground! What the fuck? Full power. You guys heard that, right? He said 20 uh, feet and then we hit the ground. Dash I hope they fix that soon. Dash 598, runway 31 left at Kilo Echo. Taxi via left turn Bravo, Kilo Echo. Bravo, Kilo Echo. Reverse Echo. Dash Oh, that sucked. Bamboo 24, New York approach, you on this frequency. Ah. That sucked, guys. I was hanging in there waiting for the flare. I heard them say 20 Come feet on. and then we fucking hit the ground. 2000. 2000, Alaska 22. Redwood 12, uh, you're four miles from Maldi, turn left heading 340. Maintain 2000 till established on low pleasure, cleared ILS for like 3 on right approach. Right, what a so shit landing, landing, guys. Roger, right 1022, give me your best rated descent, please. Expect descent on last 1022. Speedbird conquered 1 health heavy, welcome to New York. I assume you're going to be going to Terminal 7. A firm, Speedbird 1. Uh, Saber character one heavy taxi to parking via Bravo. 
via Bravo for Speedbird 1. Thanks for your help. Have a good one. You too. Ah, oh, guys, that sucks. It's one of the one of the things that's still to be fixed with the aircraft is the rad out call outs are not working. I think they work sometimes. I've had them work I've heard them say thirty, twenty, ten, then I've done the flare and the touchdown, but Am I just tripping or pretty sure it said I heard them say fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, and then we hit the fucking ground. Oh, that was bad, Crystal. It was bad. Oh, thanks, Emma. Ah, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't perfect. It certainly wasn't perfect. It was acceptable, which is what I think it said on the screen. Oh, Kareel with another donation coming in, guys. Holy sh! Shit, balls. Dash five ninety eight. Fly the score four departure. Wind three four zero. Air France Concorde flight attendants wish you had a very nice time in New York. Great landing, Captain. Thanks, champ. Thanks for your support. Well, we watch the replay. I don't think I don't think we should, guys. Do you think we should? I don't think we should. Redwood 12, wind 3401, 3 runway 31, right clear to land. 31, right clear to land, Crystal says that was an Air France landing. Emma said we should watch it. All right, brakes are on, nose and visor can come up. Ah, the fucking replay, guys. I don't want to do it, bro! All right, let me get this goddamn replay sorted. Do -do 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 -do. Right, rip, 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 rewind, re re rewind. Can I get a rewind? Hip, hop, zip, hip, zip, hop, zip. Can I get a rewind? I think it, Desert saying watch the replay. I don't think it was as bad as you think. It was as bad as I think, dude, because I didn't even really flare. I didn't. I flared a little, tiny bit. I started to just about flare, and then we hit the fucking ground. Bob sang. Here comes again. Why does this keep happening? Navy landing says Desert, yeah, fucking banged it in. 700 feet per minute. Wow. Oh. seen the New York skyline there. Don't you do it, Frank! Mother fuck! Feck off, mate. Can't bloody even see New York without that old fucking buster showing up. God damn it. Hey, 
Hey, Edder, welcome. What's up, Graven? Right, so we were kind of went through 500 feet, we were nice and stable. I was kind of up and down with a glide slope. I didn't do a good job at actually establishing very well on the glide. So I was a little bit kerfuffled coming through about 300 to 200 feet. Um, but then it was okay. So here, just starting to get any ground effect now. Waiting for the call, waiting for the call, waiting for the call. Fucking navy, bro. It was stuck to the fucking ground as well. Didn't even bounce or anything, dude. Just to... Who so put glue on my tyres, guys? Somebody put fucking glue on my tyres, goddammit. We just absolutely stuck to the ground there, guys. Touching now. So I did do a tiny little flare. So see, watch the control surfaces. You see that I start to put in, I start to go stick back to, because I'm, I'm, I'm getting the aircraft ready to start flaring. Catching now. Not great. Favourite view, favourite view. Oh, let's watch it from the favourite view. So yeah, unfortunately, not a great landing, guys. Not a great landing. It wasn't almost a... T what are you talking about, vegans? It wasn't almost a tail... Didn't even hit the fucking tail wheel, bro! How dare you? What do you think this is, a game? It was nowhere near a tail strike. You excited amateur. How dare you? How dare you, sir? Question a professional. I don't know. These kids these days, guys. Dude, that's the furthest away from a tail strike I think I've ever been. Fucking buster. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, Kirill says. That wasn't bad. Maybe not a French kiss, but some like it rough. Yeah, it was a nice tap on the back of that ass there coming in but yeah I mean really really is I should, I should have done a better job but I, I'm going to blame that the the rad out call outs I was I was waiting for him to hear I was waiting to hear 10 or like I, I heard 20 and that's when I just started doing the uh, old Johnny Flarikins window view says keeper I'm only winding you up, vegans. Touching now. Good thing is, I mean, we, it wasn't a great approach on a glide slope, but we fucking nailed it right in the landing area, guys. Fucking nailed the LA. Fucking nailed it, bro! Nailed it! So we're aiming to land at these big blocks. Over the keys.
touching now. Right, last one from the cockpit, I think. So, airspeed was good all the way down. We were a little fast here. I started really messing around with the power here to try and get back on my... I'm happy with the rate of descent at this point. We got a little high on the glide slope. Make a good effort getting back onto it, though. Really good contact with the glide all the way down. I wonder if... Uh, do you hear it here? We'll take it. We'll take it, god damn it! Alright friends, that's gonna do it for this stream. I'm gonna go and find a dark place. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna do it for this stream, guys. I'm gonna go and find a dark place somewhere in my house and cry for a little while. And then I'm going to come back and play Lord of the Rings online with my friends. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good old, good old evening. We're heading out for some adventures. But it's good to be back. Happy to be back on stream. Should hopefully see you guys tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me. Tomorrow is Friday. So I'll hopefully see you guys for tomorrow. I'm not sure what the plan's going to be in terms of what we're going to be flying or what we're going to be doing. But I know that I'll see you guys tomorrow. And if I do fly, I definitely will stream it. So... Yeah, I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to um, my main man, Kareel PG, for the donation. Thanks to Lee Russell for the donation. Thanks to Brent Norman. Um, thanks to Lee for two donations. God damn it, Lee. Uh, thanks to Agent Squash and also Mac Vision for the donations as well, guys. Thank you so much. Shout out to my man, Skills, for joining the Senior Captain's Club and becoming a sponsor on YouTube as well. Thank you so much, Skills. I will hopefully see all you guys next time. Look after yourselves. Remember to hit that like button and I will see you on the next stream. Top Gun and Volleyball. I am not Scott Manley. Fly safe.